Hey guys, how are you going? This is Justin from Present Way Coaching um, and today I want to talk to you about healing emotional wounds or emotional scars or trauma, There's whatever you want to call it. There's lots of different names but basically it's an impression that's left in our mind and in our body from an, an event in our past which has been unpleasant or unfavourable or negative um, that we haven't been able to resolve at the time. So I've broken this down into th three keys, three key elements which we need to understand to resolve the trauma and to move on with our life. Um, and the first one is courage. So the first key to um, dealing with trauma or wounds is courage. You have to get to a point where you think, oh, I need to resolve this and I need to look inside and I need to face this thing that we, we have all these images and thoughts about that is scary and fearful, we need the courage to be able to get to a point where we say, I need to deal with this now, I can't keep living the way I've been living, and that is a big step. Um, and that's where we quite often need to reach out to a coach because we can't do this on our own, we, we don't have the skills and knowledge to be able to do it on our own, we need more education, more skills to do this, and that's where we reach out to a coach and get help which is a fantastic step and again that takes courage to admit there's a problem and step out and, and get the help that you need. And the second key is um, we need to understand the subconscious mind. So we need education around the subconscious and what's going on in the subconscious mind. So by the time we're uh, 30, 95% of who we are and how we operate is subconscious. It's not a conscious process. Um, things come into our experience and we subconsciously uh, react to that situation and operate the way we've been conditioned to operate. So understanding uh, how that works is is crucial and I'll give you a small um, look at that now. Well, we go into this a lot deeper in our coaching obviously but to understand um, who you are is if you're born here and let's just say that's your soul path So if you were born down here, there's my dodgy little baby. So if you're born down here and you're, if you've followed your soul path, the truth of who you are, that's how you would live your life. You would be free, you would be creative, you'd be joyful, you'd be peaceful, and you would just go about following your intuition and going through life. But what happens when we're born, we don't know who we are, and the, the subconscious or well, the part of our mind, there's a part of our mind which is looking for um, things to, it's our safety officer basically, our, our mind is always looking for fear and it perceives things as fearful and uh, creates a way of operating to avoid that fearful thing. So in our childhood when something happens and we get an emotional scar, so you're being a child and, and your parents yell at you or scream at you or something that feels uncomfortable as an emotion that feels uncomfortable in the body and we don't know what that is we have no reference for it and our mind says that's danger that feels horrible let's avoid that so you you write a program in your subconscious mind to say anytime something like that is experienced again we'll operate in this way and each time we do that we we come off our path, we, we modify our behaviour, we modify our way of doing it because it didn't feel good. So then we, now we're going on this trajectory here and something else happens, another emotional scar happens. Um, so you, um, you decide to do something as a child which fit for you feels fantastic, you're a bright, bubbly, happy person and you do something and mum or dad shouts at you and says don't do that, don't be silly calm down, whatever they say, and that feels uncomfortable in the body, the emotion in the body feels uncomfortable. So again, your mind looks at that and says that feels dangerous, we, we need mum and dad to survive, we don't want to do anything to be kicked out of the herd, this is a, a primal function of the brain. Um, so you modify your way of behaving and you say, okay, well, what I'm doing in that moment, in that instant, is not appreciated is not good enough is not the way I'm meant to be acting even though it may be true for you your mind still tells you well we don't want to do that because we don't want to feel that uncomfortable emotion so again we change our way of behaving 
and move away from the truth of who we are. So, for instance, we may start to... If you're a really happy, bubbly, bright person and you're constantly being told in your childhood, calm down, stop that, don't do that, um, be quiet, whatever, you start to suppress that desire that you have and you start to operate in a different way. And we pick up all of these scars as we go through our life. And some of these can be can be big, some can be small. It, it's all unique to the individual person. So some of us may have just been um, talked to gruffly by our parents. You know, they may have yelled and screamed at us or even just told us to calm down. Unfortunately, others of us have had you know, sexual traumas, um, abuse, grown up in families with alcoholism or domestic violence or whatever, each individual trauma or wound is unique to each person and because one person, um, you may perceive some person's wound as, as more or they deserve to be, have more trauma than that person, it doesn't play out like that. Um, we all perceive things differently and we all create traumas based on the meaning that we give it in the situation. So that's how the subconscious mind works. It's constantly looking for danger, looking for fears in every situation and it writes a story and a program in our mind to get us to operate in a different way in order to feel safe, to feel um, like we're not going to encounter that again. So you can see now that we have these subconscious programs set up in our mind every time life comes into our experience our subconscious now is looking for these perceived wounds in our outer experience so if you've um, grown up here and you haven't trusted your mum so for me in my life I, my parents divorced when I was six and I grew up in a very stressful environment and I was always being criticized and judged and um, shamed for what I was doing so I now had this filter and this subconscious program of, of shame and guilt about what I was doing as a person. So when I go through my relationships now, uh, this happened to me not now so much, but previously, I would be looking in my relationships for all the times when my partner would say something, my wife would say something, and I would attribute shame to it. And I would automatically, through this subconscious program, say, I'm not good enough. She's telling me I'm not good enough whatever the story is, that's just a story, it's not the truth of who we are. Um, but that's how the subconscious mind works. It, it, it gets an event come in, it writes, creates a program to try to keep you safe, writes that down in your subconscious mind and that becomes a filter with which you view life through. Um, so we need to unpick that to, to remove our emotional wounds. So. Um, that's step two. Step three is now understanding the nervous system. So when one of these wounds is triggered, so life comes in and that uh, wound is triggered, your nervous system, which is the, the part of your, your whole body, goes into a response, which is the fight, flight, freeze response, and that is triggered based on this subconscious program. So life comes in, your subconscious program filters it through its set of filters and says yes that is going to create the same outcome that we had in the past and it floods your body with emotions and hormones and chemicals to get you into the fight flight and freeze response and that's what's happening in the nervous system when you're triggered and this all happens subconsciously it's all out of our awareness um, so the key to healing this emotional wounds is to get a coach or a guide or somebody who can run you through this and this is the program that my wife and I run people through and it, it starts with you having the courage to be able to say yes I have a problem and I want to deal with it I don't want to live my life like this anymore you get education around how these wounds were set up in this at this in early in your childhood and get some education around the truth of who you really are, how, who you are as a human being and how you're wired to be who you are. You're actually conditioned to be who you are but that's not the truth of who you are. And then to understand how the nervous system responds when these events are triggered, now you can start to engineer yourself back to being whole and complete. And as we do this work we start to drop 
this emotional baggage, I'll say this as the emotional baggage you're, you're carrying, we start to drop all of that through doing this work and you come back to being the truth of who you are, which is living your life with joy, peace, purpose, creativity, um, as we release these, these wounds. So I hope that gives you um, some understanding now around if you've got trauma or wounds and you can't seem to get out of it, you just keep ending up in the same situations, you keep ending up in toxic relationships, you keep bringing on the same um, situations in your life and you're, still, you're living in the same emotions all of the time, it's because these subconscious programs, something's happened in your in your past which has you locked into this subconscious program and you, you can't get out of it, you can't um, because mostly you are operating subconsciously, 95% of who you are is unconscious it's very difficult to get yourself out of that on your own, we need a coach or a guide to help us get through that but once you understand this at a deep level, have all the skills and knowledge to see it and feel it and have the breakthroughs yourself, you'll learn how to free yourself, you'll learn how to see life, to understand this process and free yourself and yeah there's nothing um, more valuable in this lifetime to learn that because now you're free, now you can actually live life on your terms and, and live the way you want to live and be the person you want to be and contribute to the world the way you want to contribute without feeling like you have to hide away um, from the fear and trauma that you're conditioned to have. So, um, I hope you've found this uh, valuable, guys, and yeah, feel free to reach out to us at any time. The, our details are in the description below. And yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Take care. See ya.